Good morning YouTube and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel. It's a sunny, beautiful morning here. Finally the sun's out. Look what happened the last couple of days up here. Like I said, I'm up in northern Illinois. Look at all the snow. It is almost March though, so we're really hoping for some warmer weather here. Let me move this up a little bit. What we're going to do today, and I want to also give a shout out to all my new uh, subscribers. You guys, know, you guys know who you are, a bunch of my new beekeeping subscribers. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and there's plenty more to come, and I'm checking your videos out too. Anyways, what this video is about, don't you love when you buy new toys? I love buying new toys. Well, here's my new toy. I got one of these infrared guns. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a camera that'll, that like measures uh, like heat. I mean, you could use it for a, a bunch of different things, but beekeepers use it for, uh, <clears throat> you can see how big your cluster is in your hive. Um, this is one of those infrared cameras. This isn't the most expensive one, but it's still, you know, it still was, it was up there a little bit, but you can find these on eBay. They're all over the place. Um, so this is going to be my first try with this thing. I was just kind of playing with it yesterday, trying to figure out how it works. And all it does is you aim, you'll point it like at the hive, and it's gonna, it'll show, it'll show the size of the cluster. So hopefully I can see this in the light here. So you guys are going to be seeing this for the first time with me here. Um, and there is a way to take these images off of this, off of this, and put them on the computers. I'm going to try so you guys can see what this looks like. So let's go ahead. So what I, obviously it's too cold right now. It's actually, it's probably what, 15, 18 degrees, but there's no wind and the sun is out. It's beautiful. <coughs> this feels great. Um, it was yesterday. It was cloudy and it's just, it's been, ugh. it's just, we're, we're, we're ready for spring. Put it that way. It's almost, it's getting here. My bees are, from what I can tell, they all sound really good. Like I said, when I check inside my hives here, I think I, I've showed this before. Right here. This little piece of elbow from a shop vac fits perfectly in my vent holes. And if you put if you put that in there and put your ear up to it, you can hear the bees in there moving around and make a noise. So I was I've been checking. Yeah, so you can hear them in there, which is good. So got my fingers crossed. You know, everybody's going to make it through the winter here. So far, so good. Oh, hold on. Yeah, make it through the winter here. Everybody's, everybody's so far, so good. We're all doing okay. I don't want to brag too much about it. I'm hoping for some warm. They're talking maybe 40s tomorrow, so maybe the girls will be out flying a little bit. We'll see. I'm not going to open these. Obviously, it's a little cold this morning, but I, I am going to do. If you see my video... If you've seen my video, which I'll put a link at the end of this video for it, about I'm doing an experiment with sugar. <coughs> I've got dry sugar in there for extra feed with pollen substitute. Then I got to thinking, I wonder which one they like better. So I took half of the pollen substitute sugar out and replaced the other half with just plain white sugar. As of a couple of weeks ago, they really haven't even been touching it yet, yet which tells me there's plenty of honey in these hives still. Now, that was a couple weeks ago, so I don't know. But I will do an update on that, because I'm just kind of doing my own experiment here to see what they like better. Do they like the pollen sub sugar or the white plain sugar, period? And right behind me here, my pollen, my pollen substitute feeders, when it's a nice day, they're flying. They're all over that stuff. So if they're all over it, they like it. And I know there are people go back and forth. You shouldn't let them feed. You shouldn't feed them um, dry pollen too soon. You don't want to encourage brood rearing when it's too early in the year. I look at it this way. If they want it, if they're taking it, they need it. So that's just how I'm doing it. I, I, like I said, if they, if, they, if they need it, if they're taking it, they need it. And there's times where they'll come out here, they're flying, they're not even touching it. They're just flying around, they're not even touching it. Then there's other times when you come out here and they're all over that thing. So that tells me that the bees need it. That's just kind of how I go. It's like even take care of all my animals out here. You know, feeding vitamins or good hay good feed mix all that stuff is really really important so if the girls want the pollen sub it's there if they don't they don't bother with it anyways back to this subject here we're going to try this out so i will let's just try it here i'm not sure if i'll be able to see with the sun the sun's pretty bright but i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna try and put this on 
I'll try and break this video in parts and, and show you what this looks like. If I can figure out, I, I think all you do is just plug this into the computer. It'll download the images like anything else. So, so all you do is you just turn it on. Little button right there, you hold the button down. I just got this Friday, so it's powering on. You probably can't see it. Like I said the sun is pretty bright. And there's an adjustment out here where you can, you can change the color of this screen. So I am going to take this and aim it. And I'm not sure how good this is going to go through. I forgot I got my insulation boards on here. But it's showing. Let me turn the camera here. It's showing a pretty it's showing a pretty good heat source right here in the middle. So I'm gonna click on that and save it. <coughs> if you pull the trigger, then it says yes or no if you want to save it. So like I said, I'll try and put these I'll try and put these little pieces in between this video here. Let's just go over here. I can't, I will let you see, you can't see this. What it's showing is it's showing a big uh, spot of like red and yellow. Obviously the red is with the heat, so that's the bees. Let me come back here and do this where the sun's not hitting me. From what I could tell, it's, it's really hard, like I said, the sun is so bright. Let's try this over here. It's showing a pretty good, it's showing pretty good heat sources. Now this hive ain't got insulation on it, so let's see. Turn this this way. I can't even see in the sunlight here. There it is. What I'm doing is taking a picture of each hive, and I will, like I said, I'll. I will I will break this up and put these in there. Can you see where I'm at here? Let me get over here. Come on, you stay over here. Now this is showing a really big heat spot right here in the middle. Okay, well, like I said, I'm gonna go back. <clears throat> I will plug this into the computer. I wonder how long the batteries last on this. I don't think you could put rechargeable batteries. That would be really nice. Let me get myself out of the sun here. I gotta find out if you can reuse rechargeable batteries in this, but this is really nice. Like I said, these things, they range anywhere from $300 and $400 to $150. But I've been wanting to get one of these for a while to try this. And it's a good way to come out and see how big your cluster is in your hives. If you got a big, good sized cluster, small, whatever. But the main thing is you're seeing a cluster and you're seeing heat, you're seeing bees. So that's what we want to see. I look at, we get into March, my girls start flying, we're doing really good. I'm getting my other beast, my other spot over there ready. 
I've got a couple of two pound packages ordered because what I'm doing this year is I'm just, I, whenever I order bees, I just order two pounds. I don't do the three pounds. It's a little cheaper to buy two pounds because I don't plan on taking any honey from them. I let them just kind of grow. And that's what I did with some of these guys. And they, they went in the fall really, really big and strong. So now this year, I'm gonna split them. I'm gonna make honey off of some of these hives. But my new two pound packages are gonna go over there. I got some carniolas coming mid-April and uh, they'll just grow all summer. But uh, just trying to get some of that stuff ready. You just kind of get excited here. Warmer weather's coming. Beekeeping season's gonna start. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully, if you, if you can, check your bees. Make sure you've got enough feed in there. Make sure they've got enough feed. Because this is, this is one time of year when bees will starve. You'll make it through the winter, then they run out of food. And if you get a really bad wet spring and they can't fly and they can't get out, they're gonna starve. So you wanna make sure you've got You've got some dry sugar, candy boards, whatever you've got in there, make sure that they're fed up going into spring here. Because that's when a lot of hives will die going into spring because they just run out of food because they can't get out, they can't fly, they can't go out and forage. So just make sure your bees are fed up. You, got, you want to check them. Don't just think because, oh, it's marsh, they made it. Well, you got to make sure there's feed because that's when they could die still. So just to kind of a tip there. And like I said, I am going to do an update video on that other one I did when I put the pollen sub compared to the, the pollen sub sugar along with the regular sugar. So I will, when weather permits, maybe this week, if it's nice enough, I could pop these open. I'll get the camera out here and we'll see what it looks like in there. We'll see what they're taking more of. <coughs> do, they want, do they want the sugar with the pollen sub or do they want the white sugar? We'll see. If, if it's equal, I like doing experiments. This is how you kind of learn. I talk about that a lot. I do a lot of experimenting out here, harmless experiments to see what bees, how they are, how they react. Like I said, with horses, I can look at a horse and tell you what it's thinking. The bees were always learning and I'm still learning. So I like doing experiments to see what they do, what they don't do, how they react to certain situations. Um, so anyways, that's my story. Um, hopefully you like this video. Hey, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell button right there, subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. When you do subscribe, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. You'll get notified when one of these videos comes out. Leave me in, in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have one of these things, if you like them or not, if, if you use them, if you how accurate they think you think they are. Let me know in the comments below. Um, if like I said, if you use these before and how accurate you think they really are. From what I can tell, without the sun, it looked there was some pretty good sized heat clusters there. So I'll go put this on the camera, on the computer, and on download them. So like I said, it's, it, you're going to see pieces of this into this video here. So um, <clears throat> anyway, like I said. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. You'll get notified once again. Thanks to my new subscribers. I appreciate it. You guys know, you guys know who you are. And I will talk to you really soon. All right, bye.